Hey guys, welcome back to Boxer Gaming and another Let's Play and I changed a lot again <laughs> in the factory. So as you can see, this is sort of working. Now I'm going to go through the changes I did and sort of give you an update uh, on well, main, the, the main functionality that changed. So first of all, you can see this is a lot bigger. So I finished, I believe I went up to door. So I finished all these, these are all automatic now. And I'll have to make sign in staircase and I'll do that today uh, just on the let's play so you guys can follow exactly what's happening uh, So let's try it shall we let's uh, let's make a fence So to, to make a fence we need some wood and some sticks as you can see they are being taken away Oh, More sticks and there's some overflow coming back and I'll tell you about that in a bit And there we go the fence now we can try the same with the door We only need wood for the door so there's wood coming it automatically also makes planks and this looks like it's getting way too much and that's true you know and it's it's gonna come back up and it's gonna pick it up again as you can see and a second door there we go now I also made it so that you can make multiple so one door two door three doors so now we should have five in in the end Whew. No, 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 no. So we wait a little bit, not too long. That's one, two, three, and five doors. How cool is that? So, how does this work? Well, it's a bit, it's getting more and more complicated, which is cool. You know, I like that. So, the first thing you'll notice is that this whole system looks different, and it's true. I've gotten rid of all the counters, everything. Um, I've decided to use more like a, um, a buffer system without actual buffers. Does that make sense? I think so. <laughs> uh, so don't worry about anything down here for now. Uh, these four machines are the most important. So for each thing to make, I'm using four, uh, two retrievers, one here and one down there. So this retriever gets all the um, ingredients. So in this case, some planks. And this retriever picks up the sticks and sends it off to my main sorting facility. Uh, now you know what this is that's a receiver um, that get ac gets activated when you press the button and This one is to make more planks because number one is the number for planks for me and two is the one for sticks So anytime someone wants to make sticks, it also makes some extra planks just to make sure we have enough uh, Cool, so what else this retriever is going to put stuff into this retrieve later, which is the new thing I made Um and that's going to put it in this automatic crafting bench mark two. Um, I started using this again since one of you commented that this would be easier, and it definitely is. You know, now retrievulator is a big pain in the beep to make. Uh, I did make a tutorial about it on how to make them, and I did make a, a few of them, not too many, because they're such a pain. <laughs> cool. So that's how you make them: six wooden planks, one transposer, and one regulator. Now the regulator is made using brass ingots buffers, item detectors, rhapsode wafers, and wooden planks. It's a bit of a pain. And the buffer is made using some bars and wood. So it took ages just to make a couple. Um, I'm probably going to just setting up a project table and just dumping all the materials in there and just making a stack of it or something like I did with uh, most of the other items I have. Uh, cool. So how does, it, how does all this work? Um, uh, how do I explain it in the easiest way? Um, okay, retrieve you later. <laughs> That's a good place to start. Oh no, first of all, crafting bench. So the crafting bench, uh, Mark II, the way it works, you put the ingredients in here, and this is the input, or the, the sort of the chest storage, where it's going to keep the ingredients and the materials. So at the moment, I've got 64 planks saved up here. Uh, and in case um, this retriever gets a signal, two planks are used, to make four sticks and it'll have 62 left here. Yeah, cool. Now, the retrievulator, it sits between the retriever and the crafting bench. And pretty much what I do here, you don't have to worry about the R section. The T section is 64 planks. I, I put that there. And it corresponds with the 64 I have in here. So pretty much what it says is, um, keep 64 planks in my right inventory, which is this one, at all times. If it's less than this, get items from the retriever. Or tell the retriever to get two wooden planks. Does that make sense? 
I hope so. <laughs> but I'll show you later on how it how it works because I'll make two two items. Uh, let's go down to trapdoor. So I made it a bit bigger. I made a bunch of Mac tubes again. Uh, and this is the way it's going to work now. Don't, don't look at all that for now. Uh, this is one section from this pipe and this pipe. So again, we've got the first retriever, um, which don't worry about the jammer. That's automatic. The uh, retrievulator does that. This is retrievulator. That's the automatic crafting bench. That's the retriever that pulls the sticks out. And it gets into the mag tube. So, cool thing. Uh, it's just um, accelerators with mag tubes. And like, same as last time, I kept all this the same. We have two pipe systems. The first, the topmost, uh, the first most uh, pipe system, the top one is direct access to the chests. Uh, it doesn't have any sorting machines and it's only for use for retrievers so that they can pick items up as fast as possible. And the bottom piping system is a sorting piping system. So all the items that are made are being deposited into this main pipe system. And any items that are made, and I'll, I can actually show you that, uh, are getting the color black. And I painted the main sorting pipe black as well, which is this one. It's hard to see in the camera, I guess. And it goes into the main sorting machine. Right. Uh, cool. So, uh, why did I change it? I guess that's a good question. Uh, the problem with the setup I had earlier was that, um, say, my retriever was getting two planks to make sticks. And it would keep doing that. The timer would keep running until the item detector saw that sticks were made. And then it would turn it off. But in that time frame, it could already have pulled like 64 planks and there's no way to get rid of them again. Uh, so you would get a massive overflow. Uh, with this, it's not the case. So with this, I tell the retriever, uh, retrieve you later, sorry, to always keep 64 planks. And it does it always, exactly. If this pulls too many items, like it pulls too many planks, it's going to push them back into the main piping, into this piping system. And it's going to push it into the closest available chest. Uh, and that's a bit of a pain sometimes. Uh, so that's why I have this extra chest set up here. And this is like an overflow chest. You can see there's some wood in there, some planks in there, some sticks in there. And that's just uh, the items that are getting sent back because I had too many in there. Uh, and because this chest is closer than those chests, it's going to getting the items from here as well. So it'll never overflow. Okay, uh, yeah, I think that's about the main stuff. Uh, let's start making sign and stair. Um, cool, so I don't need all this building material, I think. Uh, no, I don't think so. I made another chest here just to dump all my crap in. <laughs> uh, so I've got enough retrievers. I've got mag tubes, which I'll do a bit later. Uh, I don't need timers anymore, so I can put those away. I need to some covers. I've got a retrieve later, which I need as well. Um, where's my crafting bench? There. Okay, we can get started. So I already made a sign for, for them. Here. Uh, so this is sign. Oh, I didn't write the number. I want to keep writing the number just in case. I forget. So sign will be number six, and that's just the the wireless channel it's on. Sign six. Okay. So first order of the day. Get my morning star back. <laughs> uh, put some lights on, up, and I think I need a what is it? One, two, three, four, five only. Five with. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's start it here, I think. Oh, I haven't made this hole yet. Whoopsie. <laughs> That's kind of important, isn't it? Uh, so we'll just do it like that. Okay, no. I got rid of all my building blocks. Yoo-hoo. Let's get them. Let's get him. Uh, and this hole, by the way. Oh, God. There's a pipe there. That's annoying. That's very annoying. 
That's okay though. So I should actually run the pipe exactly under this. That would be more logical. Uh, anyways, let's get some stone bricks and some basalt bricks. And we can finish up the bottom. Uh, this is all going to be covered as well, by the way. This will be closed like that. Eventually. And that will be the, the next floor on top of it. Cool. So, uh, let's finish this area off. Now, the only thing that's going to be... Oh, God, I broke this. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, the only thing that I'm thinking that is going to be a big challenge is going to be the, um, let's get rid of this. Uh, the, the way I'm going to get natural resources. So for example, iron ore or wood even, you know, uh, I want to make a red power or build craft. I guess that that will do as well. At least not EE, um, tree farm as well. So I might do it with mining turtles. I might do it just with um, deployers and, and um, block breakers. I haven't decided yet, uh, but I'll do that later. And I'll also have to make a wheat farm and I have to make some way to get iron ore and stuff, which I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that yet. I might have to resort to EE for that. But if you have any plans or any ideas, let me know that as well. Okay, so uh, let's start setting up the machines. There's a hole there as well. There's going to be a retriever in there. And that's going to be the retriever that picks up the items. Uh, we don't need any of this. Cool. So, this is the order it's going to go. Retriever. Uh, retriever later. And... Crafting bench. Yes, that's good. That looks like it's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> Now, the automatic crafting bench, Mark 2, you pull the completed items out from the top. So these items come out of the top for some reason, so keep that in mind. Uh, hook that up as well with a... Uh, okay, so where can we put our uh, trap door? Couldn't do it here. I can do it there, I guess, but it's a bit... Yeah, why not? Uh, do we have a trap door with me? No, I didn't make a bunch, but we'll get them later. Cool. So, mag tube under here, mag tube under there. Get the accelerators out. Put those there. See if they line up nicely. Yes, very nice. One there. Oh, good. One there as well. There we go. Uh, and then we have, oh, we have to hook it up to the power. Oh, I don't really have many power cables anymore. That sucks. Oh, not that one. Should we get the power from there or there? Probably get it from here. It's easier. <laughs> yes, I'm lazy. Oh, it's not lining up correctly. That's ugly. That's all right. It's okay. So, bad box there. Uh, now, let's see. This one needs to be connected to the top layer. Because it's going to be pulling out the items out of the chest. So like that. This one needs to be connected to this. Because that's the main sorting line. Yes. <laughs> Just trying to think if it's all, it's all correct. I know this is a bit redundant to go up and down all the time. But then I can jump over it easier. Uh, and at this stage, we are pretty much done, you know. Uh, the only thing we need to do is tell these machines to get what we need. Uh, so what was this going to be again? <laughs> A sign. Okay, so let's get some sticks and some planks. Uh, oh, I don't really have many. So let's make a few more planks. No, 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 no. Now for planks, it'll make four at a time because each wood makes four planks. So pretty soon, that's four, that's four, that's four. So I might eventually maybe change this to make a stack at a time for items like a wooden plank, you know, because it's, you always need a lot of it. So I might just make it so that it makes a stack at a time. 
That might make it a bit easier. Um, but for now, just because we're in a hurry, I'll just make some myself. Plump. Uh, plump some in there. Yeah, what else do we need? Sticks. Do I have any sticks? Not really. So let's make some more sticks. And that's just to uh, to pre-fill it. To pre-fill the, uh, the whole system. Oh, we haven't set up the receivers yet. <laughs> cool. So, automatic crafting bench. We need one stick and we need six wooden planks. Yes. Uh, so, we want this retriever. Uh, let's see. How, many, how much storage do we want to keep in here? So, if we keep one stack of wooden planks in there... Yes, one stack of wooden planks. Uh, we need six planks for every stick. So, uh, hmm. You know what? Let's do it like that. And then we do 10 sticks. Because then we can make exactly 10 signs. Like, if I would press the button 10 times to make 10 signs, it'll do that no problem whatsoever. Now, uh, this option, I'm actually not sure if this works, so that's going to be good, a good test. So, I want it to pick up 6 planks and 1 stick. If there's not 60 planks and 10 sticks in here, which there's not at the moment. So, it should start working straight away. Let's see. There we go. See, it's picking up these items. And as soon as these items get in there, let's wait till it is. Sticks are coming one at a time, so. <laughs> How many is in there now? Five. Six. See the, these items zooming past? It's really fast. It's awesome. It's done. So there's 10 sticks and. 60 wooden planks in there and now it's the retriever jammer is in there and the items are pulled out and then the items are in here now as soon as i take items out of this or as soon as i make a sign um it's going to send a signal to this to start getting items again so i need a sign to put in here and i don't have any signs so i'm just going to pull it out manually so you see 54 9 and instantly it starts working again pretty cool uh, so the retriever needs to get signs. It needs to go to black because black is my main sorting facility. There we go. And what else? Oh, we need to set up our receiver. Uh, like, oh, this one is going to be a bit more tricky because uh, every time a sign is made, we need it. We need to tell it to make some more sticks and to make some more planks. And because it's more than uh, four planks, because we make four planks at a time. And it's more than that, so we need to actually call it twice to make two sets of planks. Hmm. And that's just to make sure that we never run out of planks, pretty much. Uh, so let's set this up a little bit differently. Maybe like that. Uh, is that enough space? Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, sticks is two. And then we need to make two sets of planks, which is frequency one. Hook that up to that. Enter the retriever. Oh, and that's number... Was it six? I think. Is it six? Yes. Six. Cool. So let's see. I'm kind of excited to see if this works. Uh, sign, please. Oh, no. It doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work. Well, it might work. It's going to work, but it's not going to sort it properly in the purple. Oh, look at all the paints I made, by the way. <laughs> So many. Eight different colors. Or oh, nine, actually, because um, pink is my overflow color. So the sign. Where where, where did I put the sign? I want to know. Is the sign anywhere? Is it in here, maybe? Nope. Where's my sign at? Uh, I think it didn't know where to send it, so I might have sent it in here, maybe? Yeah, there it is. Uh, that's cool. Uh, can I have another one? <laughs> so I've got a sign here, and it has to go to purple. Okay. Let's set the sorting machine up. It's almost... F oh, yeah, of course. One more slot. Uh, where's the sign at? There. Sign. Per... Was that pink, wasn't it? Where's purple? That's purple. Cool. 
And the other sign should be here as well. So all the stuff that doesn't get sorted properly gets uh, sent in here just for me to keep keep eyes on it. Uh, sign. Done. So you see all these items go to white. And white is my main sorting machine for these eight chests. As you can see, it's white here. Uh, so now if you press sign again, sign. You can see it's starting to make planks, it's starting to make sticks. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Now there might be some overflow eventually, uh, which I'll have to handle at some stage. Oh, there we go. That's a sign. Done. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So say, I mean, these are simple stuff, you know, chair, uh, stairs and wooden planks. I mean, hey, it takes five seconds to craft them yourself. But later on, we'll get to, for example, or even stuff like a, say, a retrievalator. If you can press a button and make this, you know, just press a button five times and it makes that, uh, that would be pretty awesome to be honest. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, what I'll do in the meantime off camera is probably I'll finish stairs. I'll start on the cobblestone. Uh, so all items from cobblestone, then all items from stone. So I have to make up a furnace and oh god, it's going to be so much work. But uh, <laughs> I think that's going to be a few hundred hours in this total, uh, but it's going to it's going to be pretty cool, you know. Uh, so again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.